In this tutorial, we're going to expand on what we learned about lists in tutorial 4 and use lists for some practical applications. In the first example, we'll recreate the model from the sample file called Cylinders. In an empty SketchUp file, open the Viz window and add a cylinder node from the primitive category. To get multiple cylinders, we need a list of translation vectors. Add a series node and a vector node. Connect the series output to the vector x value. For the series itself, the minimum value should be negative 5, the number of elements should be 11, and set the step value to 1. This will produce a list of 11 numbers from negative 5 to positive 5, each separated by 1. By attaching a preview to the vector output, this series can be seen in the vector's x values. Each vector should have a y value of 0 and set z to negative 0.5. Next, add a move node and connect the vector output to the translation values. The cylinder is the geometry to move. The move output is 11 solids, each one corresponding to a translation vector. This is an example of a node receiving two types of inputs with different lists. We have one solid, but 11 vectors, so the cylinder is repeated for every vector. Add a slider to adjust the cylinder radius. The cylinders will be cut from a box, so add a box node. Its dimensions should be x equals 10, y equals 1, and z equals 0.5. A Boolean cut operation is needed to remove the cylinders from the box. Choose Shape Cut. The box is the object, or BREP, to cut, and the 11 moved cylinders are the cutting BREPs. Double click on the preview attribute of the box node, move node, and the original cylinder node. This hides the original solids, so we can see the result of the Boolean operation. Using the slider to adjust the cylinder radius enables you to change the resulting solid on the fly. And a shell sync brings the resulting object back into SketchUp. For the second example, we'll recreate the sample model called Loft. We'll start again with the series node, with the number of values this time set to 20. Adding a preview shows the series of 20 values starting at 0 and ending at 1.9. Next, go to the math category and add an expression x node. With this node, you can enter a mathematical equation to calculate each value of the input variable x. Set the expression attribute of this node to 2 plus cosine 4 times x. Be sure to type it exactly this way. Here are the resulting x values. Add a circle node and connect the series of calculated x values to the radius. Since the input is a list, the circle node produces a list of 20 output circles. Now we want to separate these circles in the z direction. Add a move node and connect the circle output to the geometry to move. To define the z translation of each circle, we'll use the series values again. Add a vector node and connect the series output to the vector z values. This move node is now getting two lists as input, 20 circles and 20 z translation vectors. Whenever multiple lists are used as input, the node matches the elements of each list one by one until the longest list is exhausted. In this example, the first circle is matched with the first translation vector, the second circle is matched with the second vector, and so on. And these two lists are the same size. But let's say we had only 10 circles with 20 vectors. The longest list is 20, so the first 10 circles would be matched with the first 10 vectors. And after that, the last circle would be matched with the remaining 10 vectors. To generate the surfaces that pass through the 20 circles, go to Shape Loft. Connect the move circles 
to the loft curves. The Viz toolbar has an icon for mesh refinement, which controls the resulting surface. Set this to smooth to see the surface update. For the last example, we'll recreate the sample model called Curve. This time, start with a range node and set the number of values to 20. We want to calculate values for both x and y this time, using the range values for x and a slider value for y. Add the math node called expression xy. Connect the range output to the expression x value. For the expression itself, enter power x comma y. Be sure to type it exactly this way. This means that for each x value, the node calculates the value of x to the power of y. Add a slider to easily adjust the y value. This slider can go from 1 to 20. Add a point node, which produces points that have x coordinates from the range values. The z coordinates of these points come from the values calculated for each range value. Choose Curve, Interpolate Curve to create a curve that passes through all of the points. Connect point to point. Add a Move node that takes the resulting curve as geometry to move. The copied curve should move one unit in the y direction from the original curve. To create the surface between these two curves, add a loft node. For the two curves, one is from the original curve and the other is from the moved curve. Now we can move the slider to see the surface update. Finally, we'll give the surface some thickness by adding a Thicken Shape node from the Shape category. Connect the loft output to the shape to thicken it. The T value sets this thickness.